Hey YouTubers, so I got another meeting coming up for my local fish club, South Carolina Aquatics Association. Um, in uh, this next meeting, I get to do a presentation in front of the crowd uh, of uh, how to put together a planted tank. Looking forward to that. Um, but at any rate, um, the other thing along with this is we kind of do a trade show or a swap trade whatever type thing after the meeting out in the parking lot and um, this time around I decided I was gonna uh, try my hand in uh, potted plants so I got on eBay and ordered up uh, some of the rock wool plugs and some of the little plastic containers that go around them and um, got on YouTube and scoured out a handful of videos of uh, people who were doing this kind of thing and uh, so I thought I'd take you guys on the trip with me uh, through putting this thing together and uh, to see if it's really worth the time and effort to pot the plants and make them look nice uh, for sales um, any rate let's get started Okay, so I'm set up out here in the uh, little patio area. Got my scissors, a little bit of fertilizer, and the outdoor planters, of course. Um, decided to go with uh, some of the immersed grown Ludwigia ripens. Um, since they were already sticking up out of the water and readily available, you know, hey, figured I'd go with the easiest thing that was there. So um, here I am clipping some of the immersed grown. And for those of you who have never seen Ludwigia Rippins immersed grown, that's what it looks like. And, uh, and look at those red root floaters. That's what you get when you put them in re real sunlight. Red and orange on the top and red as red blood red on the roots on, on the bottom. And uh, by the way, yeah, I do still have a while. Well, I'm going to be taking some of those to the show and put them in a little uh, Dixie cupettes and uh, try to see what I can get for them at the show. But uh, whatever's left over, and I'm sure I'll have plenty left, I will be selling some of that. So if you're interested in any of the red root floaters that are all naturally grown out in sunlight and looking sexy like that is, uh, leave me a comment below or... Uh, Hit me up at uh, Paul's Planted Aquariums at Gmail. That's Paul's with an S and Aquariums with an S at gmail.com. And we'll see what I can set you up with. But uh, here I am scooping all this stuff up. Um, trying to get as much out of here as possible um, and of course you know you know how this works uh, I'm gonna take this to the show or the the meeting and uh, do my little presentation and all that and plug this a little and after all is said and done the meetings over we'll all kind of congregate out in the uh, parking lot and take a look and see who brought what and who's got what available um, the money part of it isn't really such a, a big thing. Actually, I'm more interested in seeing what other people can bring, plants-wise, and uh, uh, even equipment or fish food or well, anything that has to do with the hobby. You know, one man's trash is another man's treasure. You know, 
there's times that you know i know that there's probably 30 or 40 10 gallon tanks uh, sitting out in somebody's garage from when little Johnny wanted a goldfish and it didn't last more than three weeks so they they uh, put the tank out in the garage and I could have used one but I didn't know who had them so I had to go buy a new one oh well um, here I'm grabbing the planters I pre-soaked these um, obviously in some of the outdoor water um, the little uh, grid plastic thingy that I'm setting those in is uh, actually from uh, baby quiches um, you can go to uh, well in the southeast now we have them uh, most supermarkets carry them in the frozen section um, you can get like quiche Lorraine or ham and cheese or veggie or whatever um, but they're little baby quiches and they come in those little plastic uh, um, containers but they worked out perfect that uh, you can put these little pots in so I kind of hung on them and uh, repurposed them you know why well, fill up the landfill when I can use it for something else but uh, yeah um, the one of the videos or a couple of the videos or whatever that I watched on YouTube showed that uh, you should soak your rock wool ahead of time you know get a good get a good and saturated before you use it for planting and a couple of them showed uh, that you can it's not necessary but you can add a little bit of fertilizer so this is kind of a container of the left the the leftovers the last little drops of or whatever in my uh, regular uh, dry ferts set up and um, what I do is when there's just a little bit of drop left in the bottom of them and I'm going to make up a new batch I just kind of pour off what's left into this container so it's not exactly an even mix of micros and uh, macros but uh, you know hey waste not want not if the plant needs it it'll take it if it doesn't uh, it'll just you know it'll wash away and since these pots are going to be kept in a submersed situation a lot of that will probably bleed off into the water anyway so but you know I figured I'd use it as I said waste not want not um, I'm uh, in case you can't tell uh, this is a head cam I got on it's a it's got like a elastic thing you put on your head um, and uh, obviously you could see that some of this stuff is kind of out of frame I tried to aim it down as much as I could but I'm not completely used to this camera yet so I wasn't sure exactly what it was shooting since it's on the side of my head and I can't see um, at any rate uh, I'm putting, I'm trimming the leaves off the bottom of the, the ribbons where I clipped it and putting three stalks in each one of these uh, rock wool pieces and then sticking it in the uh, little plastic container. And that was really the only tub that was good enough that I could uh, kind of push it down into where it would be in a submersed atmosphere. Um, figure I got about two weeks till the meeting and I figure in two weeks it should drown out pretty good and be in a more immersed uh, growth pattern so that I won't be giving people the immersed immersed submersed it'll be in more of a submersed growth pattern as opposed to the immersed that I'm clipping it out of but um, definitely no snails or critters on it so that's the good side of it I guess and a lot faster growth I just hope that uh, it can change its leaves over to uh, submersed growth leaves by the time of the meeting but uh, yeah so once again um, 
I got to work with this camera some more. You can see it. what I'm doing is just out of frame, and uh, I got to figure out a better way of doing that. This is a, kind of a knockoff of a GoPro. Um, it's made more for like, you know, if you're riding a motorcycle or a trail bike or uh, off-road vehicle or whatever, or hang gliding or doing some sporting activity or whatever, where you kind of give you a just an eye, you know, your eyes view of what's going on. It's not really designed for this kind of uh, video work, but um, it's also uh, submersible, so I'm gonna try that sometime. Maybe in one of the upcoming videos, we'll uh, we'll put it down in the water and see. Uh, see what we see um, haven't done it to this point yet because I want to get a you know use it a little bit just in case it does leak and ruins the camera <laughs> I want to at least be able to shoot some video with it first so um, yeah um, this is uh, a little monotonous but you know it's just me going through the wiggy or ribbons um, getting ready here to trade up and uh, we'll be doing uh, some other plants um, I do uh, this is the real deep deep red uh, little wiggy oh, up that got a phone call from a friend and had to cut the video off here so we'll switch over and we'll be working with some other plants here there we are there we are okay so this is after the phone call I got started and forgot to turn the camera and realized that so I decided I would flip it on at this point you didn't miss much I just uh, trimmed some of these out of one of the other uh, containers there um, this is uh, Sunset High Grow um, it's uh, completely submersed growth and it was I uh, kind of wished I'd have had about another month um, because this gets to be a beautiful uh, yellow and orange and reds in the upper upper section of the plant once it gets into the natural sunlight but uh, unfortunately this was trimmed out of my 40 breeder oh, maybe a week or so ago um, but you know so it had not had really a chance to color up um, hopefully in the next couple of weeks before the show it will color up a little bit better because um, I would like to uh, use that as a uh, as something you know a little bit better to trade with uh, it's it's extremely hard to get in the southeast um, as a matter of fact a lot of the states uh, it's illegal in uh, along with a lot of the other high grow plants because they are considered invasive species and they don't want them in their natural waterways and being that we have weather down here that's warm enough and conducive enough for them to grow like crazy um, they you know outlaw them or whatever they just say you're not supposed to have them uh, not sure exactly how all that works but um, so I'm told so there's a good there's a good shot of exactly how I laid those out once again I'm doing three stems per um, and uh, of course you know taking them over and uh, drowning them here in this old uh, galvanized uh, what used to be our Basset Hounds bathtub um, um, and oh yeah by the way uh, if anybody has any of those galvanized tubs laying around um, they're perfectly fine for growing plants in but do not put fish in them um, there's something about the galvanization process or whatever it leaches certain chemicals or metals or something or other um, throughout its life and uh, those are toxic to fish so don't put fish in anything that's galvanized because it will kill them 
Um, now, I don't know that for a fact. I haven't actually put any fish in this, but I have been told multiple times and seen articles on it that say do not do it. So um, I can't say from firsthand uh, experience, but I can tell you that to everything I have read and seen, they say don't do it. So I'm not going to do it and be the first one to find out that they're correct. Um, meanwhile, I'm moving on to another plant here. Um, I'm going with the uh, lim, uh, Limnophila, Limnophilia, lim, uh, I think it's Limnophila is the actual correct pronunciation of it. Limnophila aquatica, I believe. Um, it's kind of kind of a uh, furrier or, or bushier version of uh, like a bomba uh, or hornwort or any of that. It's got a lot more a uh, lot more uh, frizz to it, shall we say. Um, very pretty plant if you like that kind of stuff. Um, and uh, like Kabamba and uh, hornwort, uh, it, it, it is a nitrate magnet. It does suck up the nitrates in your tank. So if you're looking for something to keep your nitrates in check, um, this is uh, definitely one that uh, does a great job of that. Um, at any rate, uh, here I am going through and separating out the different twigs, which I'm sure is overly exciting to everybody. Um, but, you know, what you got to do, you know. Um, going through and placing it in the plug once again. Unfortunately, just a little bit low on the frame up. Hey, we're going to get to see this one. This one actually is in frame. And... Uh, I think I put uh, four, four uh, stems of this in the, in this particular uh, case, but uh, yeah, that's that's you know I mean this is pretty much the process. You get the idea at at any rate. Um, this is something you could do um, as to cost effectiveness um, should I just pull it out right before the show and uh, you know cl trim it up and cl clean it up a little bit and then put it in a baggie and and sell it as a bunch type plant or, or get a hold of some of those little lead weights and wrap it around it or or rubber band it or whatever uh, or or go this route and pot it I'm not really sure I'm kind of you know feeling my way through it I wanted to try this once at least to say that yeah hey I tried that once <laughs> you know have experience and be able to say yes I did that one time I actually went through the process um, but you know I figured why not uh, give it a try see what kind of growth I get out of them once they're placed in the rock pool uh, containers um, see if this is something that I can you know that looks that much better than just stuffing them in a bag because um, that's one of the things that I really was kind of uh, concerning myself with um, up to this point I've pretty much sold all uh, all my trimmings and plants and stuff just uh, wrapped up in a little bag or whatever and uh, with the potting of the stems at least it gives me an opportunity to uh, you know kind of show them off a little bit um, I guess I could get like a tall some sort of call, tall container fill it with water and plop all these little planters or pots down in it so that you could really see the plant the way it looks underwater. But, um, yeah, you know, kind of feeling my way through this. You know. As I said, uh, I am not looking to make a career out of this. Uh, this basically, you know, just aids in paying for some of the fertilizers and fish food and extra tanks for, you know, whatever equipment um, for the hobby. Uh, I have a uh, career. You know, I uh, design websites and uh, work on computers and set up networks and that kind of thing. So, you know, I already have a real job. Um, 
the aquariums and fish and plants and all that stuff that's my zen that's uh after having to deal with uh um, nasty customers all day long and i want it yesterday and and uh, that's not what we discussed and uh, you know anybody who's had to deal with customers you know what i'm talking about there um all the fun the fun things that you have to deal with and the uh um the crap that you got to eat you know it's uh, sometimes nice to you know grab yourself uh, your favorite beverage and uh, kick back in front of your fish tank uh, your ship one of your show tanks and maybe put on some some uh, some of your favorite music or whatever like that and and just uh, chill out in front of the fish tanks you know I mean that for me that's my Zen you know that's that's my uh, decompress you know, get rid of all the anger and, and, and stress and all that stuff that you you uh, tend to uh, build up during the uh, during the day. So, uh, yeah, you know. <laughs> Any rate, uh, you, know, you guys can see uh, this is one of my other grow out tanks. Um, this is S. Rippins that I'm pulling out from that middle section. Um, in the front, you'll see that uh, on this last uh, meeting we had, well, maybe you won't see it. You could see an edge of it right there on the corner. Um, I got a bunch of uh, pearl weed. And um, not gonna say much about that, but you will be seeing that soon. So, uh, you know, one of the com upcoming videos, uh, um, at least one of my show tanks uh, will be um, doing some some uh, late summer um, arranging rearranging and uh, so um, yeah you will be seeing some of that pearl weed uh, in one of the tanks coming down and one of the videos coming soon and um, I got a couple of other DIYs um, now with the pearl weed I'm stuffing about six or seven of those, uh, those twi well, uh, it kind of grows out in bunches. Uh, as much as I could fit in the pot, uh, usually you know anywhere from four to six or seven or whatever like that. Uh, so there's you know you'll have plenty of opportunity to uh, to get a couple of twigs to 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 put down in your substrate, and each one of those uh, four or to six twigs has multiple branches on it so if you really want to propagate it fast you can uh, you know just take and split them up a little bit and uh, you know you're all set but um, yeah that's pretty much what I potted for now um, here I am just kind of cleaning up I am going to use that little uh, base thing there probably when I uh, do the display of the plants and uh, um, I'll probably bring them in. I'll probably bring them in and set them on one of the tables. And, you know, set them down in a, like maybe a five gallon or whatever and put that little uh, plastic thing in the bottom and put all the pots in there. And, and then they can be, you know, kind of just, you know, or maybe I'll make a specialized tank that it will be just as big, a little bit bigger than that square. And I'll be able to put all the, the pots down in there or fill most of those slots up and you can see what they look like in a submersed uh, atmosphere but um, that's all I got for you for this video and uh, I hope this was helpful to some of you don't forget to uh, subscribe like uh, you know see so yeah, smash that like button I guess everybody's um, saying that now and I guess that's important so have a great day and we'll see you soon